for today's edition of Know Your Muscles, we're going to be looking at the hamstring muscle group, in particular, the long head of the biceps femoris. It's a muscle that's located at the back of your leg towards the outside. It's one of the true high power muscles of your body. The long head of biceps femoris, as represented by this piece of red tape, actually begins on the ischial tuberosity, crosses the hip joint, runs along the femur, crosses the knee joint, and actually attaches into the head of the fibula. So it's a biarticular muscle. So as you can infer from the anatomy, the function of the biceps femoris is to externally rotate the tibia, flex the knee, extend the femur, and abduct the femur. This muscle fuels high power movements like jumping, sprinting, uh, the, Olympic, the Olympic lifts, as well as uh, high power judo throws like the Uchimata and Osorogari. Okay, so stretching the biceps femoris is really straightforward. It's just the opposite of its function. I want to adduct my thigh, internally rotate my tibia, extend my knee, and then flex at my hip, pushing the ischial tuberosity away from the femur. Of course, before I target my biceps femoris with any exercise, say for example, uh, the single extension deadlift, I wanna make sure that I maximize recruitment. This is done by reducing reciprocal inhibition. Reciprocal inhibition can be reduced by stretching out the antagonist of your target muscle. So the antagonist in this case is the vastus medialis. Simple way to stretch it out, just put your biceps femurs into the fully flexed position and hold it for 30 seconds and then go ahead and do your set. So as far as hypertrophy of the outside head of the hamstrings, really aren't that many great options. I would pretty much just stick with single extension style deadlifts, um, Olympic lift variations, that's pretty much it. Again, these exercises feature a ton of tension in positions where the muscle fibers are in a lengthened position. I've been uh, trying to, to um, reinforce that point a lot through my vi videos. When the muscle fibers are in a lengthened position, that's when you want to apply or you want to emphasize tension. Second thing too, of course, is that single extension style deadlifts uh, also fit the function of the outer hamstrings absolutely perfectly. So they are really my only choice as far as growth of the uh, biceps femoris. Conversely, these next two exercises are lousy for hypertrophy of biceps femoris. Peak tension occurs while the muscle fibers are in a shorter position and they do not fit the function of biceps femoris.